Hi everyone, in this tutorial I am going to do simple pattern. So first I am going to select default uh, metallic roughness template here. The resolution is 2K, just uh, hit OK. Then after that uh, just hit spacebar and type shape node. This is very useful node. Here you can select different kind of patterns. So I am here. I need square. So I am going to reduce the scale. It's fine. So then I am going to give bevel. So hit just hit bevel, and you can increase the distance here. And yep, it's okay. So then I'm going to add radiant dynamic. So just connect height to input, scale input. So then uh, I'm going to add radiant linear tree. So here I'm going to give more tilings I think 3 is enough so just connect to gradient input so now click here it's look like black so we need to change some settings here the gradient orientation is vertical now see this 3 texture is from this along the line okay uh, so for example if you change the distance like double click yes see this is a very thin distance so it was that, that distance only it's coming the line so if you increase the distance so the three textures coming along this shadow like this okay so here uh, okay I'm okay, okay with this so then I'm going to then uh, this so add then then we just add 2d uh, sorry 2d transform then and click the blend option and give to maximum light and so now uh, i'm going to scale scale down like this so first yeah i'm going to change tiling mode obsolete then there's no need tiling because if i give tiling so it will create tiling like this so i don't need this the part so i'm going to change no tiling here so then uh, scale like this then move try to keep center center and center just a little bit shift to scale gel to proper scale okay. it's fine so here if you change your shape I can change the scaling, it will look like this. Okay, then I'm going to do another shape here. So, first, I'm going to duplicate this shape. So Ctrl T, duplicate. Then I'm going to change shape to uh, disk. Okay, here I'm going to type just shape shape mapper. So it will create like this circle. So if you for a if you try to scale, you can scale select so pattern. So then double click and here you can change the 
circle to polygon so we reduce the pattern amount and do like this stuffs then change, change the circle and if you reduce pattern amount look like this and increase and reduce like can also increase the radius and width so then i'm going to give radian dynamic then just duplicate this radian clearly and connect this and change to vertical so here i there is no blur given so need to give some blur or uh, bevel anything just uh, give just it base for and type uh, bevel then give some distance like this so then it will get this kind of shapes you can control your pattern and so if you want to give proper then you can edit here and look like this so with and do like this. okay so then you need to uh, blend this so just yeah, uh, type blend or basically yeah, uh, uh, when you try to hit spacebar it will come second option is blend so you need you can just connect here then hit change to maximum lengthen then here we need to some scale uh, so just type 2d transform then hit and here we need to change uh, like Absolute and there is no telling needed. So here just click and shift to, to scale, get proper. Now you can add uh, that. Uh, simple depth here so just again add then then duplicate this shape so I control T to duplicate this one and here I'm going to change and connect here yeah. and if you want to little bit uh, depth so you can use that levels just type and uh, hit la so type levels change the increase or increase the whiteness you will get strong depth here double tap and here you can change maximum like that and same thing you can scale here to like uh, like this and here you need to reduce a little bit level So you can um, sorry, you can reduce the brightness like this. 